You are listening to Radio Alamundi. Hi there, wherever you are. I'm Marco Rixecker, a freelance writer, reporter, producer, teacher, translator, tour guide, poet, singer and songwriter. I speak several languages and I'm the creator and founder of Radio Alamundi, an evolving podcast station where no language and all languages are spoken. It's a multilingual mix of music, poetry, lectures, languages, interviews, documentaries, recipes, and a lot more, co-produced with the students of the Alamundi International Cultural Center. You can find us on radioalamundi.bandcamp.com, podcasts.apple.com, Spotify, YouTube, Breaker, Player FM, Facebook, Search, Radio Alamundi. Lee Ronaldo is a child of the 60s and 70s, one of the most energetic time periods in modern history as he likes to put it. Even up until now, hasn't anybody really grasped the impact of an era of cultural effervescence and fertility? As a cultural maker and shaker himself, Lee Ronaldo keeps dwelling on the part he has to play in the general culture. He simply introduces himself as a visual artist and musician, and, as such, he strives to challenge moral standards which he refers to as the morality of the law. In general, he tends to lag behind the standards of a younger contemporary generation by about 40 to 50 years, he explains, and the upheavals of the 1960s and 1970s stood up against that. Di Ronaldo and the iconic band he was a member of for many years Sonic Youth stand for this generational call for freedom. So, the following narrative includes excerpts from a collection of testimonies and interviews entitled Let's Talk About It Anywhere in the World, where it is all about people's voices, accents and speech patterns, hand in hand with my own personal anecdotes and observations. In addition to that, People are allowed to introduce themselves in their respective, often indigenous, languages and dialects and to speak their minds freely, without any paraphrases or expectations. So, let the story go on from there. It's all about freedom of speech, which may go as far as challenging the law. It might call for actions like walking naked down Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, Lee Ronaldo's hometown. One thing is certain, his sense of humor is intact. Humor, especially political satire, is all about freedom of speech. It has to do with chaotic realities that don't always make sense. That's why Lee Ronaldo has no trouble doing a reading performance of an excerpt from Bob Dylan's strange opus, Tarantula, that he can relate with. From Tarantula by Bob Dylan Unfortunately, my friend, you shall not get the information you seek out of me. I, my good man, I am, I am not a fink. None of my relatives are or, ha or have been related to Benedict Arnold, and I myself despise John Wilkes Booth. I don't smoke marijuana, and my family hates Italian food. None of my friends like black and white movies, and again myself, I have never seen a Russian ballet. Also, I have started an organization to turn in all people that laugh at newsreels. So, could you please stop those letters to the district attorney saying that I know who murdered my wife? My principles are at stake here. I would not sacrifice them for one moment of pleasure. I am an honest man. Yours in growth, Ivan the Bloodburst. One of the most striking things Lee Ronaldo tells me that day is that you should be alert to whatever is going on if you want to be creative. So to me, Lee Ronaldo represents the culture and the arts of the American underdog, 
and his artwork tends to make people refreshingly uncomfortable. But that's what it's all about. A Baudelairean concept of beauty, completely detached from morals and values. And our conversation reaches out beyond time and space. So, the location and date of our encounter eventually don't matter. He and I talk about topics that might be hard to grasp sometimes, but such intangibility is inherent to any artwork, including Lee Ronaldo's. He practically thrives on it and knows how to discuss it. I am Lee Ronaldo. I'm a musician and visual artist. Lee Ronaldo, who do you feel closer to, God or the devil? Uh, I feel uh, equidistant from both. Equidistant, meaning ah, equidistant. the same distance from, from each of them. I don't, uh, I don't uh, pay either of them very much mind. Um, our music is far closer to God than it is to the devil. And I feel closer to God, although God is such a nebulous term, it's hard to know what one means when they say God. But um, humans in general are closer to God than the devil, so I feel closer to God, I suppose. Leo Ronaldo, what's the difference between growing up and growing old to you? Um, well, growing old is something that everybody does, and the, and it's uh, it's a, a living process. Growing up is a, a factor related to maturity, and it's something that only happens to people who continue to expand their horizons and their consciousness. Leo Ronaldo, what key feature characterizes the neighborhood you live in? Um, I live in downtown New York. The key feature is big, tall buildings and lots of people and lots of energy. Leo Ronaldo, do you accept chaos? You have to accept chaos. Chaos is all around us and everywhere, and everything is moving towards chaos, and we try and fight it off and pretend it doesn't exist, but it does exist. Um, so sure, mm -hmm. I embrace chaos. Leo Ronaldo. Which part of the day do you prefer? Um, I like a lot of times of the day. I like the early, early morning, and I like the late, late night. I like afternoon right when the sun is going down, and the middle of the day when the sun is high and bright. Leo Ronaldo, which generation do you belong to? I belong to the generation of the 60s and 70s. In general, the events of the 60s in particular still play a big part in everyone's life and, and uh, still are a very important uh, time of... It's not, all, it's not every decade or every year in a century that, that has a certain kind of upheaval and significance to it. And there's something that happened in the 60s that maybe hasn't happened since the 20s or since the last century and people are still trying to figure out what it was all about. It was a very um, important decade, I think, in a lot of ways. And I don't think we've had anything equally important since. Leo Ronaldo, what has been the most important event in the 20th century to you? Um, probably either man walking on the moon or the Beatles. Leo Ronaldo, do you know what's happening? Um, I know some of what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I read the paper voraciously and, and tune into to the news channels on television and, and magazines and just generally try and absorb information from lots of different places. I mean, if you want to look at it that way, it's more part of my job as a cultural... Um, as someone who works in the culture, you know, to know what's going on in the culture and also as a human being in a way. I mean, I feel like if you don't have an interest in the culture and where it's going, you're not really a part of it then. And you're not, you don't have any ability to shape it or to move it in any way unless you know about what, what's going on. And um, so, although that's not always true, because uh, plenty of people are important to the culture that have no interest in the culture. Um, But it just, you know, it, so it's, it's, it means keeping up with things, and that means uh, f absorbing information from all different outlets, some very large and corporate, some very small and private. Leo Ronaldo, what is the first right you would like to stand up for? 
stand up for. Oh, the right to be free, the right to speak freely and act freely and live freely. You know, I think I think most of those kind of situations. I mean, you know, it's it's all very complex, obviously, and, and the law is trying to keep certain standards and, and has to question people's activities now and again. But usually in those kind of cases where it's moral uh, issues, the laws are are quite old fashioned and their 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 definition of morality is stuck in you know in some time 40 or 50 years ago whereas you know people have moved past it at this point and most people i think would rather have an open more open society where things are easier to talk about and things aren't hidden the ability to phrase emotions like sadness and anger is equally part of the creative process of an artist. And then, there might always be a humorous touch in an artist's actions. Leonardo, how can you contribute to the growth of your country? Um, I don't know, walk naked down Fifth Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo, if we can say I have the blues, why can't we say I have the punk? Well, because the punk, the the blues is something different. The blues is something everybody knows, no matter what their uh, their calling in life. Everybody has the blues now and and again. And the punk is a more artificial, uh, aggressive uh, attitude that only certain people choose to adopt. But everybody has the blues now and again, except for the most lucky of people. When I have the punk. <laughs> It's it's uh, a lot of energy, amphetamine-like energy, and aggression, and and uh, inspiration, and uh, activity, and uh, and chaos.